Thanks for checking out another video. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the Zilio satellite communicator. Um, this video is gonna be uh, real casual, more of a one take style video. Um, I'm gonna be discussing my feedback of the device and kind of how I use it. This isn't gonna be a how to or a super in depth detail video on how to use it. Um, I will briefly mention basic functionality, uh, plans, uh, stuff like that. Um, so if you do, or if you are looking for a, uh, a video, uh, there are lots of others, uh, videos on YouTube that do cover this device in greater detail as far as functionality goes. Again, this video is not going to be one of those. So just going to be a laid back video, just discussing, uh, basically how I like the device. So, uh, if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Oh, you're probably asking yourself if you've never heard of a satellite communicator, which in 2021, I'm assuming most people have, but if you haven't, uh, this basically is just a, um, uh, device that enables you to communicate with, uh, friends and family. Um, if you're out of cell range or you have no Wi-Fi and you're in the backcountry wilderness, hiking, backpacking, cross country skiing, whatever, fly fishing, whatever your business is in the backcountry, this device is going to allow you to communicate with your loved ones um, over the um, satellite network, better known as the Iridium network. Um, this device, again, is similar to a Garmin inReach. It does use the exact same satellite Iridium network that Garmin does. Um, I picked up this device, I'd say about eight or nine months ago and have used it pretty consistently since then. Um, as far as basic functionality, um, that's physically on the device, it does have a few buttons on the device. It does have an on off switch. Um, it does also have a check in this button here allows you to press it. And I believe you can set up to five contacts, uh, within the app that allows you to send a text message to let them know, let your family or friends know that you're okay. And it automatically sends a GPS coordinates to them as well in that message. Um, it, now the other button on here is the SOS button. So if you ever get into trouble in the back country, you need emergency uh, services, you can press that and uh, your local emergency services will be contacted. Um, just in case you get in any situation to where you need help. Um, as far as other buttons on the device goes, it does have a USB mini, which is pretty common on most devices. Um, and it does also, as far as I know, it's hard to tell in the video, but it does kind of come with a rubberized coating on the outside. And it do does come with a super handy carabiner. I hang this on my backpack if we're on a hike or I put it uh, in the truck camper. I hang that on the door. This is super functional. I love that it comes with it. Um, I do have this mounted in my truck on a Ram mount and I will show you some B-roll footage of what that looks like. But as far as basic uh, functionality physically on the device, that's about it. Uh, you can use this device solely by itself, but it is highly recommended that you download the app that accompanies this device. This device is really um, best when you actually use the app uh, for either an Android or iOS device. Um, and it does have a lot of features within that app that allow you to uh, do things, just check the weather, uh, text message back and forth, etc. So I'll show you that next. But as far as um, basic functionality goes on the device, um, this is kind of what you see is what you get. Battery life is about uh, on a full charge. Zolio quotes about 200 hours. I've been getting about that, so it's pretty accurate. And this device does pair up nicely uh, with an app. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of what the interface looks like. I have an iPhone. Um, this area is where you would actually send messages back and forth to people. Now you can send text messages or um, you can have your friends and family download the Zoli app for free and communicate with them through this app. The cool thing about communicating with the app is in the app is you can send a lot longer messages uh, to um, your friends and family versus sending a text message. You're limited on how much um, your, your, your text messages 
If you're sending out of the Zolio app to someone's uh, phone number via text message, the amount of characters you can use is a lot less than sending directly through the app. Um, it also does do weather as well. So I'll tap that and you can kind of get an idea of what the weather app looks like. Again, this is another thing that's pretty common on these devices. Um, it lets you view the weather in the area that you're in. I'm in Bellingham now. Um, this also does have an SOS feature, which I don't know, to be honest, if I'm ever in a situation where I need an emergency, more than likely I'm not gonna be able to get to my device. So I'm super happy Zolio actually put a S physical SOS um, uh, button on the device because more than likely if I ever need help, I'm not gonna be anywhere near my phone. So it's great they put one on there as well. And then you, you can basically go into the settings and uh, configure any, uh, Thing you'd like that you see here on the screen for instance notifications you could download maps offline etc oh so as far as plans go and i'll briefly mention those I'll, I'll i'll throw some stuff up here on the screen to show you what those plans look like uh there's three tiers you can do a basic that's like 20 bucks a month then i'll give you 25 messages mid tiers and in touch is what they call an in touch plan is 250 messages for 25 bucks a month and they have an unlimited plan for 50. I personally do the in touch mid, mid tier program as I feel the unlimited for me. I'm not a big texter in the back country and I feel the mid tier does what I need it to do. Um, as far as communication goes with friends and friends and family, I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a big texter, but I do want people to know that I'm okay when I'm back there. So I'll just be able to, just being able to send a text, it does give you a little bit more buffer to where if you need to have more of a detailed conversation with someone, um, that mid-tier program, I feel, does give you that as well. And hey, if you just want peace of mind and you have the money, <laughs> just get the unlimited. That way you don't ever have to worry about paying a la carte for messages, etc. cetera. Uh, now, as far as um, features go compared to this to like say Garmin inReach, it's very, very similar. I think the only real difference is the Zolio device, you are given a dedicated phone number on this device and you can keep that as long as your plan stays active. Now, what I mean by that is when your plan's active, um, I believe you have to keep a tiered plan for I believe three or four months. I'll have to research that. If not, you can look that up. I might be able to post a note in the video about this. I believe after three or four months, you can downgrade your plan and kind of deactivate uh, whatever plan you're on and pay just four bucks a month to kind of keep your plan still active. With, when that plan is kind of in a, a non-active state, but you're, you're able to pay that $4 a month, um, it does keep the same phone number, which is a huge benefit because if you've texted back and forth to someone from, from your Zolio device, um, that number is always gonna be the same, which is awesome. And I think the Garmin inReach, I believe they change your number every few months, last I heard. Please comment below if I'm wrong on that and you guys have feedback on that. But I'm pretty sure the Garmin inReach and the Garmin Mini, they change your phone number every few months. Um, that's a big feature I did like from Zolio uh, since I've had it. Uh, I paid $200 for this device. I did get a discount code uh, I found online at the time they were running a promotion. These are going to be a little bit cheaper than a Garmin inReach, which again, they're both using the Iridium network. So I don't know if they were using an off branded network or a new network, I probably wouldn't have went with this device, but since it does use in the Iridium network, the same Garmin uses, I was like, it's got to be at least just as good, if not better than the Garmin. Um, now, again, this isn't an endorsement for Zolio. I paid for this device. Uh, they don't sponsor this video at all. Um, so this is just real feedback. Um, since I've used the device, uh, I think I've, I can't remember, I got it, or I think late last year, I've been able to kind of put it through its paces. I mainly use it for, you know, when we're out in the wilderness on a hike or we're in the back country. And it's been solid. I have no complaints with this device. The battery life's great. Um, the case is somewhat waterproof, so I've dropped it. It's rugged. Um, I do like the features of it. And, and I don't mind that I have to use an app with the device to get better, you know, a seamless functionality and, and, and good user experience as far as the integration goes. Um, I like that I, I can use the app um, because let's get real. A lot of those GPS 
uh, UIs are just terrible and being able to navigate through those are always kind of a pain. So I do really like the UI of the iOS app that I use and um, the functionality has been great. Um, it, again, there's really no complaints. I just wanted to kind of bring this awareness of this device to you guys if you're not aware. Uh, one new feature that Zolio did do, and I'll, and I'll post that here in, in the video, is they do offer what's called a, it's an add-on subscription service, which is a location share plus. You Garmin users probably already are familiar with this. It's basically like a breadcrumb type GPS check-in that you can send your friends and family to where you set the interval and it will auto shoot off a message to who you've set uh, within the device. It shoots them a message uh, via text and lets them know based on the time interval that you've set that you're okay and, that, and people can follow along. Uh, your travels, uh, whether you're on a hike or through hike or, um, or if you're driving through the wilderness um, in the backcountry, they can follow along with you uh, using that, uh, that breadcrumb uh, feature that is now available through Zolio. And now that, that location share plus as Zolio uh, uh, names it is an additional $6 a month to have that breadcrumb type feature. Now that's added on to any plan. So I'm on the mid tier plan. So if I were to add this location share plus uh, option to my plan, it would just be $6 a month. It's the same on an unlimited plan. Um, so as far as that goes, it's something I don't really use. Um, I don't do big through hikes. Um, we do some long distance hiking, but I'm not a big texter in the back country. If I need to get a hold of someone or let them know my status, I'll just manually shoot off a text. It's not a big deal. Uh, plus it saves me six bucks a month. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I uh, think I covered everything I'd like and just kind of kept this conversation casual. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them in the, uh, the, the comments down below. Just wanted to keep this simple, straight to the point. Just, uh, just making you guys aware of this super cool device. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, again, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Any other content you guys want to see, uh, have me go over. I am trying to consistently post videos, so anything else you guys like to see as far as my build goes or, or anything, uh, just, just uh, leave a comment down below and um, I'll definitely take it into account. Appreciate you guys checking it out. See ya.